Takeaway number seven, Alex Grint's departure is probably long overdue. And it's not all his fault. It's not all his fault. And a lot of people will point to USC's challenges on that side of the ball and blame Alex Grinch exclusively. I've documented on this program. I think it's deeper than that. It might be about how they practice. It might be about the way they manufacture real live game-like situations in camp, maybe in spring. I think there needs to be more of an emphasis on, on tackling and defensive fundamentals and all those things. So Alex Grinch can only do so much. But it's at this point, when you start to look at the stat line, 52 points, 572 yards, 316 yards on the ground against a team that averages 100 yards on the ground, and at one point, nearly 200 yards for Dylan Johnson, the running back for Washington before contact. That can't happen. The last couple weeks, I mean, it just can't happen. And I, I look at at where SC has been and what it's taken for them to win games, the offense at times has had to be absolutely perfect. For USC to win the game against Washington, USC had to be flawless. Flawless. They made two mistakes in the entire game. I mean, two mistakes in the entire game. You had the fumble by Caleb Williams right before the half, which led to the Washington touchdown. That was huge. There was also the critical fourth down sack, uh, fourth quarter sack, excuse me, that knocked the Trojans out of field goal range when they were down three. So there were two mistakes made in the game. Two on a play that featured, on a game that featured, gosh, 80 offensive snaps or so. And as a result, they lose the game by 10. I referenced Washington's rushing totals. Averaged 102 yards rushing. 102 yards rushing in a game going into this weekend. And to rush, rip off 316, it just can't happen. It just absolutely can't happen. And that allowed Washington to kind of hold the ball a little bit longer in the second half and to kind of take the air out of the football just a little bit. Now, right now, defensive line coach Sean Nua and the inside linebackers coach Brian Odom, they'll serve as co-defensive coordinators in the interim. They also elevated former safety for the Trojans, Taylor Mays, to an on-field role. So we'll see exactly where he's been. But if you look at some of the numbers for Alex Grinch the last few years, dating all the way back to his time at Oklahoma, it's just become a little bit too much. USC has allowed the following point totals. 41, 41, 48, 34, 49, and 52. It just can't happen. And I know we look at that 48 and we're like, well, some of those were defensive touchdowns and special team scores against the Irish. Fair enough. So maybe some of those numbers were inflated, but it's at this point something needs to change. USC is currently 124th nationally in scoring defense, giving up nearly 35 points a game and 109th in yards per play allowed at over six yards per play. It's just not enough. And unfortunately, it was time for a change.